will it react <laughs> reaction? Often six days a week. Sam was a general rule. She, she, over the years, she has learned to cope on her own. So she does work as a single parent in, in that sense. We are strict parents. We both come up with the same rules. But whatever I say does go. Their four children are allowed to choose their many hours of activities. But quitting is not really an option. If you quit a sport, you're going to be a quitter in life. And health conscious Sam has some pretty strict rules about downtime too. For any of them smoking, I would make them chain smoke till they were sick. Anyone that smokes, full stop. They're killing themselves. But this lifestyle comes at a price. Nick's rarely at home. I like more time with my dad. Stay with him and play games with him. You spent time with him. There's hardly ever meals together or chill out time as a family. A lot of the times we are like ships that pass in the night and just don't see each other. 160 miles away in Westgate on Sea, Tara Hollick juggles motherhood with working five days a week as a beauty salon manageress. I love my job. I absolutely love my job. And Tara's passion is written all over her face. She has her makeup tattooed on. I try and get my Botox done or my filler done um, or a quick massage. Proud husband and father Alan may look the tough guy. His best friend is still the rock guy. But underneath, he's a real softie. Oh, marshmallow. <laughs> I am a marshmallow, I know I am. And he's totally devoted to Tara. I worship the ground she walks on, I really do. No, come here, darling. I've got some toes, obviously, but I've, I've got one here that says, uh, Tara's name through the middle of it, and it says, My love, my life, my wife. I'm going to that down the ground in there. When they're not grafting, they prioritise spending time with their kids. Dad, like, is cool, because he, like, takes me out to golf and that, like, go down the pub to watch football for a They're a close-knit bunch, and after a hard day's work, they love to let their hair down. We both work hard, so we do deserve our bottle of wine a night. It just relaxes us. As soon as I get in from work and I'm doing stuff, it's just my little vice. Just chill out. It doesn't hurt, does it? No, it doesn't hurt us. We're not, like join the AA or anything. 16-year-old Charlie enjoys her dad and stepmum's relaxed approach to parenting. Dad and Tara both really lay back with me, um, having a couple of drinks and smoking, just for the pure simple fact they'd rather me do it in front of them than do it with my mates down the park, sitting on the bench. If parents try and stop their children from socialising, that's going to affect them. That's going to that's gonna really restrict on, on the poor kid's life, really. You wrap your children in cotton wool and, and you're not doing them any favours at all. You're not, because they're not streetwise. And nowadays, you've got to be more than streetwise. Oh, to us. To us. Yeah. Both wives have agreed to swap families and have no contact with their loved ones. But for Tara, there are a couple of things she can't be without. I'm going to take this picture of um, Alan and me. Um, and I've also sneaked a bottle of wine in here, just in case they don't drink. Um, so hopefully that's going to be all right. <laughs> Love you, darling. Love you. Look after you. <laughs> Love you, babe. See you later, like, baby. Hello. You be all right. You're good. Oh. You be good. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. Fingers crossed I'm going to a nice house. And the sea. I've always wanted to live by the sea, actually. It's nice. <gasps> it's massive. Smaller than mine. <laughs> She's going to get lost in my house. <laughs> Smokers. <gasps> Look at the size of the kitchen. <laughs> She's a beautician. Yay. Oh, dear. I'm not. They're really sporty people, aren't they? They're going to be really into their health. They're going to be fitness freaks, all of them. Mmm. Well, we're a non-smoking family. Um, 
So that's not great. I don't think it's great for kids to be around. I'm going to have a crumpety cigarette. I really don't think there's smokers in this house, obviously, because it's a uh, flat -ick. Each wife has been given a budget and a manual as a guide on how to run their new homes and lives. Hi, I'm Tara Hollick. The Hollick house is a is rocking. It's probably because we've always got a bottle of red wine and a packet of fags on the go. Hi, I'm Sam Willis. I am a mum and housewife and I run my house pretty much on my own. I'm the disciplinarian and I'm a strict mum. Okay. <sighs> I've had Botox, lip fillers and my makeup is to do not so I look good as soon as I wake up. <laughs> I don't really do makeup. Oh God, it would just run off on the squash court. Not tattooing makeup, it wouldn't. We're very laid back parents. We don't mind Charlie smoking and drinking in the house. Yes, she is old enough to smoke. That's their choice and their smoking as well. So she's just copying what um, dad does really, isn't it? We all love hanging out together and hate being regimented. We would never force the kids to do anything. Ryan's asthmatic, but he loves his sport, especially football. Ryan being asthmatic, the sport would definitely help his lungs, but the smoking won't. So whatever good he's doing with the sport, it's going to be knocked back by the smoking. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm really nervous. <laughs> you Nick. must be as well. Hi, Nick. Nick, this is uh, Olivia. Jade. Hi, Hi Jade. Oh, look at this. Hi, George. Come on, George. I'm going to have to go on tiptoes. That's how yeah. you're right, lovey. Yeah. Right. Hello, dear. Hi. Are you all right, lovey? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hiya. Hello. 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 Mr. Ooh. <laughs> it's really young, Mr. Abby. Hello, Abby. Ryan. Hello, Ryan. You're right. Hello. And Charlie. And Charlie. Hi, Hi Charlie. Ryan. And yes, thank you. I'm Sam. Sam, pleased to meet you, darling. Do you want a drink? Can I get you a drink? Um, Tea, coffee, water, um, wine? I'll have a glass of wine, that'd be lovely. <laughs> oh, my what God. <laughs> my first impression of Sam, right, the turkey trailer. North, Norfolk farm girl. Uh, red rosy cheeks, yeah, big smile, hair tied back. If she'd have had a sloppy jumper on, right, you'd have just said, yep. Some relative of Bernard Matthews. <laughs> Your house is absolutely spotless, but I did notice as soon as I walked in that yeah. you were smokers. And yet we only really smoke out of here anyway, but yeah. I mean, we don't, you know, the kids... The kids there. are always in a different room the, when you're smoking. We have the window and the back door open. Yeah. Way, yeah. Cheers. Welcome to uh, Westgate. Thank you. I've just had one and a bit glasses of wine and... Um, my brain is frazzled already, so, you know, two and a bit, and I'm just going to be la, la, la. No chance for a tipple for Tara. It's match night with the boys. Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? No one's watching me, are they? I've literally legged it upstairs, got changed, and I'm here now, and I've driven for half an hour um, to play a game of golf, uh, squash, and I've not eaten yet, and, you know, I'm really quite exhausted already. Let it bounce first and then hit. <laughs> it didn't bounce. To me, this is like a really strange environment for me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I've but never played squash and no. I, I don't really hang around with the lads. No, no. So I'm quite intrigued. Is she... Is she... Well, it's, it's, it's all is lads Is she one of the lads? Play. Yeah, she is, yeah. It's all lads that play squash, so all her friends are guys. I've just had, like, five hours of Sam and... For Tara, who finds it really hard just to have five minutes. Um, it's freaky. It's crazy. In Westgate on Sea, ex squash pro Sam Willis has traded her racket for a mascara brush to live the life of a beautician. Why would anyone want to put all this gun on? Putting makeup on, I feel like it, I'm just ready to go out. Um, so that's the only time I put it on. Ooh, and it's not just it? piling on the slap that's getting up her nose. Go. First thing this morning, uh, I woke up and I've really got this dry taste in my mouth. And actually, as I was going to sleep last night, I know they're making a conscious effort of being by the back door smoking, but it really does smell. And have you thought about the health risks? Oh, yeah, I've had the whole lectures from the parents about it. Don't well, my man, Dad. Yeah, I get it all the time. 
So oh, dad, will, dad, dad will say it to you even though he smokes. Yeah. How Abby is with you mm. and how she betrays you. You can see she really, really loves you and everything else like that. But sort of what you're doing is probably what she's going to aspire to do. Yeah. Right. As the lecture over, as with me, old bag mum, I'll have to have a little nag during the day. That wasn't too bad. That was quite controlled for me. <laughs> I'm still really young and my mates will do it and my mum smokes and everyone smokes around me, but I don't think the lectures will change it. Over in Kettering, Tara is getting to grips with Sam's schedule. She treats her sporting commitments like a job. I am now... I believe, off to the gym, golf. Then I'm off to golf lunch with a friend. Then I'm off to squash after lunch. I would, I would, I'd have the monk on if I was Nick. I would be really jealous and quite frustrated at the fact that I'm out all day working and she's out playing and having fun all day, really. She's crazy. But how will Tara cope with Sam's crammed schedule? Oh, oh God. She joins oh, Sam's gosh, chum, yes, Lindy, for a spot before. of lunch. Yeah. Obviously, it's sports priority in her life. It is. And the squash. I think the kids come first, right? Then I think she does the sport, and then I think it's Nick. <laughs> Maybe in that order. <laughs> yeah, when the kids get in from school, that is it. The timetable's yeah. the children and their, all their sport activities. It is. And there's just time to squeeze in a quick game of squash. I am absolutely exhausted. This is great. I did I, I was I meant to bring a racket? Yeah. Oh. oh I can't do that way. I'm done. I'm shattered. I'm absolutely shattered. I need to get some water. And I've got to go get the kids. And I really want to get changed as well first because I am minging, sweating, and I'm soaked. Over in Westgate, Tomboy Sam's trying to nail what it's like to be a beautician. Anything you don't... My thoughts on beauticians um, previously were people that dropped out of school, didn't have much brains, and only wanted to sort of chat and do nails and other bits and pieces. But obviously there's a lot more to it than that. Pop it upwards. Pop it upwards from here. Ready? Oh, <laughs> you're very brave. It's no more. It's no more uncomfortable than having your balls waxed. <gasps> Have you done that? <laughs> Tara's boss and friend Claire waxing, is itching to get her hands on au naturel <laughs> sand. With waxing and and ah. Okay. <sighs> is there any left? <laughs> so does Tara do much? Um, Sport, it didn't say anything much in the manual about it. She doesn't do any sport. Well, I'm quite selfish. I will squeeze my me time in. Um, even if it means I'm running around a little bit faster. Or they're eating a bit later. Because Tara works full time, mm. so any precious moments she's got with her children, she's going to take those take moments those on, yeah. rather than go down the gym. Mm. I'm very, very lucky. I've got a husband that earns a fair amount of money and he's keeping me and the children fed. And um, it just goes to show how much he really does love us by doing the amount that he does do. So I'm starting to get choked up now, so I will shut up. <laughs> because... Oh! Go where that come from? <laughs> he works really hard. And sometimes I do take the mickey a little bit by doing the extras that I do because I don't bring money into the family. But Sam's soon back to her old self, grilling asthma sufferer Ryan on her pet subject. What do you think about people that do smoke? It can kill you. It can, can't it? Yeah. Make, it can give you diseases. Does it make you a little bit worried about your mum and dad smoking? Yeah. Um, Dad's said that he's going to stop. But he's going to stop. Do you think yeah. he will? Yeah, I don't like because he said last year he's going to stop at Christmas baking. You didn't. And then he said this year he's going to stop at New Year, but he didn't. I mean, I know they don't blow it in your face, yeah. uh, but there's still a bit of smoky smell yeah. around. Do you think it might help your asthma a little bit if they... Because it yeah, might make the air cleaner, mightn't it? Yeah, because it does make me cough if I like it. 
So mm -hmm. I'm working in the kitchen and they have a cigarette. And it makes you cough? Yeah. But we'll have to gang up on them, what do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, that'll make it better, wouldn't it? Yep. Cool. I was half expecting him to say, oh, it's okay to smoke and this, that and the other. He really doesn't like them smoking. Yeah, sure. I've had several deaths in my family from cancer and it's not nice. And as a child, that's the common sense that they go through. And I don't think maybe owls realise that. For Tara, under Sam's regime, there's no rest for the wicked. OK, get your coats on. It's Friday night and the younger girls need ferrying to a party. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I've got yeah. the present. You look pretty. I've got the present. All right, see you later. Have good singing. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. I don't really know what the, what Jay's relationship is with Sam. Um, I don't think they spend a lot of time together, whereas Charlie and I do. We tend to just have a laugh together. We don't do work and revision and... I don't ferry her around. After a long day at work, Nick usually mm. eats alone. But tonight, Tara wants to get something off her chest. My focus on it is you're definitely on a treadmill because obviously work, you've just got to do it. Um, Sam's treadmill is a choice thing. Obviously, her squash is her life. I just feel that, that Sam has got a choice to get off that treadmill and slow it down a bit. Mm. Whereas you haven't, because you've got to still bring the money in and pay all the bills. Yeah. And, and you are actually doing all of that for everybody. Mm. So, and I do feel that maybe they do need to give you slightly more respect. At the end of the day, I am here to provide for the, for the kids. And they're your morals. I know what you're saying about quality. Yeah, yeah, but that, that'll come, that, that can come second as far as I'm concerned. What like, can come second? The, the quality time. I mean, quality time's on a Sunday if I haven't got to work. I think Sam does appreciate him, but I don't think she appreciates actually how much that Nick really does do in her life and how chilled out and laid back he is with everything that she does. Well, that's a champagne glass, mate. By the time that's Alan the gets home from work, Sam's ready to pounce. Ryan hasn't stopped coughing since I've got here, but maybe you get used to listening to that because of his asthma. I do enjoy it. Yeah. Totally do enjoy yeah. it, but it's uh, it's got to go. I will do it. See, I'm, I didn't know. I mean, like, Tara. My birthday. There you go. Your birthday. When's your birthday? 11th of March. Mm. Ryan is asthmatic. We, we, like I said, we don't shove it down his throat. I mean, he used to be terrible, but he's, he's so much better. And as for the cough, cough, that's the time of year, right? That isn't because he's smoking 20 a day. It's the weekend. Nick's already at work, and Tara has housework and yet more squash to embrace. Oh, God! I've got to get this kitchen tidied up before I go. Sam's life's extremely busy, and obviously she's not a smoker because I don't know where she'd find the time to have a cigarette, so I have literally sneaked her to have another ciggy because I haven't stopped yet. Really frustrated. I'm getting quite frustrated by living Sam's life now. This me time is just too much for me. In between me time and Mum's taxi service, Tara grabs a few precious moments with Jade. Do you do you ever get like a girly night with your mum where you sit on the bed and and mm. chat away and? No, not really. And do you think that's because of the schedule? Um. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And there's so many of you, and you're you're mm. all just so busy. Yeah. Would Would you want more time with your mum? Um. Yeah, I think it'd be really nice, like to spend more time with her. Um. But then I also know that she she loves what she's doing with the squash. Um. And you know she does have. I know that's you know it's impossible with the schedule that we've got because there are four of us. So, yeah, I think it would be nice to spend. But, you, I mean, you're the eldest, them. you're 15. Mm. And so, really, yeah, it would be cool to have a bit more yeah. sort of quality time, really, with your mum because it's, it's a hard age that you're at. Mm. Maybe it's a discussion you just need to speak to mum about when yeah, she gets I in. Do. Saturday at the Hollicks is a more chilled affair. 
Alan is enjoying a lazy morning, but not everyone is happy. It is horrible to be cooped up in a, a smoky house. I don't want to be an old nag, but it really is getting to me. I'm going to maybe drag Abby down the beach or something. Because of a cold, Ryan's asthma is worse than usual, jeopardising Sam's plan to get some fresh air. So what would Tara, if he's poorly like this, what would Tara do? Would she sort of we like keep, him? Keep him warm. Keep him warm. Fluids. Fluids. And that's what he's got there. Yeah. And that's Honestly, it. He just, he, right, a lot of it, if he panics and works out, then it just... It gets worse. It gets worse. He's got to just calm it. My concerns about Ryan are that he's, he's not getting enough clean air. And while he's feeling poorly, I feel he should get some fresh air to open his lungs up and their, um, Alan's view is to not suffocate him, but keep him inside, keep him warm. Um, and, and, but it, what he is doing is suffocating his lungs <coughs> by not putting some fresh stuff in. Wrap him up, keep him warm. Yeah, it's just nothing, it's usual, you know, it does happen. The Holics themselves, to me, are not a healthy family. It's Saturday night, and Nick eventually clocks off, but instead of winding down, he's winding Tara up. Saturday night, Sam always does the ironing. She does. I'm not doing ironing. Might, but, hey? I don't do ironing, You're not. I just told you that. Is that what you want me to do, the ironing? Yeah. Well, it's only it's nine o'clock now, it's only three hours. Half eleven. It's not good. Have you done your, your cleaning? I've just done the it? washing and I've well, you, you, you've it only rubbed it over the top of... Yeah, but the it's cooker. clean. Did Sam polish it? It does the inside as well. On a Saturday. Once a week. Always busy Saturday night. It must be in the manual. Always busy. I'm just trying to wind me up now. There's some oven cleaner, I think, turned to there. Don't we try to have a look for you? To communicate with Nick, it is very much... I never really get the answer from him. Um, he's quite... He's got his barrier up. Um, and I'm going to knock it down. You know, I'd have had a flush. Oh, no. I bought with it. It was the last one. It got to there, and I thought, what's the chance of being a one more? Very good chance. One in four. It's a very different bedtime story for Sam. It's Pokemon, the Holland tradition. But Sam's got more than what's in her hand on her mind. I am actually genuinely concerned for them, and I'm hoping my rule changes will benefit them greatly in their lives to the point that they will live longer and um, enjoy the quality of life. He didn't feel relaxed. It's complete madness. This is gone. We're going to have family time. Tomorrow night, we're getting a takeaway. Yes! Jade, you in particular are doing too much and I want you to have girly time together with your mum. Thank you so much for letting me become a member of the Holick family. And I really admire how much time you, Alan, you spend with your children when you work so hard. But I have to say that I think you and Tara are terrible role models. You are way too liberal and I'm shocked by your smoking and drinking. Alan, I know you said that you would guarantee to stop smoking, but I want you to start cutting back now. I'm rationing you to three cigarettes at home. You will smoke these outside of the house and not in the kitchen with the back door open. Charlie, Ryan and Abby are going to help me police this rule. Nick, like my Alan, you work amazingly hard. I can see you've got no life and you're constantly exhausted. I can't believe how selfish Sam is. I am mortified by how Sam has been treating you and the family. We're going to have a massage at a spa. You'll like that. 
Alan? I think it's important that your socialising doesn't always involve around booze and food. I think you would enjoy a jive class, so I'm trying to find one for you to join. Jive class? I didn't want to upset anyone. Because I don't like upsetting anybody. And sometimes I come across a little bit wrong as well. I truly, Sam, right, would rather cut my cock off, right, than go dancing, jiving or whatever, right? It ain't a bit of me. As for the smoking, right, since you've all changed, I've finished. I never wanted to hurt anybody and I didn't want to upset anybody, but it's the way it is, it's rule change and we've got to do it. You've got a more chance of burning your ass on a snowball, right, than you have got me going fucking dancing. So I get this really homely, they're going to just love being in here. So they're going to get to chill out, aren't they? While Sam wants the Holic House to be smoke and drink free. I don't like changing people's lifestyles, I don't like confrontation and I certainly don't like upsetting people and I've managed to do all that in one day but I've done it with the genuinely best thoughts of, of trying to improve their health and their lifestyle. That evening Sam's on standby to police her rules. Hi honey, I'm home. Abby! I've got to check your mum, your daddy's pockets. Turn around. Spread your legs. <laughs> I'm amazed. What do you think? I'm amazed that you don't trust me. Sarah. I do. It's I do. No, you this, know what? This is breaking my heart, right? <laughs> well done, bud. I'm very proud of you. In Kettering, the Queen of Chill Out is in her element. Classes are cancelled and family fun is on the menu. Right, can, we, can we see what you think? Mm. Honestly, what do you think? Cool. <laughs> wow. Is Jade's a little bit a small glass of red wine? Mm. Yeah, a little bit. Brilliant. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Give love me it. a kiss, Jade. Mm. I love it. Mm. Yeah. Do you know, get a cushion, chuck it behind you and relax. Why not? But not it everyone works, yeah. is amused by Tara's house Just of fun. We're probably not going to go to bed till 8 o'clock, half 8. So. <laughs> Too late. I think he's a bit stressed out about the girls messing around or all the little picky things. And um, I think he just needs to lay back, take a chill pill and just have some fun, have a laugh. Oh, would you do this with your mum? I hope so, yeah, I'd love to. Have you ever done it? No. You go ask? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think me and my mum need to spend more time together, definitely. I think um, even if it's just, you know, it doesn't even have to be a lot, really. Just, you know, sitting in here, even just chilling. Proper control freak. Yeah. And losing control is getting to Nick as Tara tries to persuade him to let George have his ear pierced. I'm a grumpy old man, I think. Why don't you let George have it done now with you? Now with you, with supervision by you when you know about it instead of him. Instead of him having it done behind your back. He doesn't need supervision. But he's going to do it in two years' time anyway, so why don't he have it done now? What's the difference? What is the difference now in two him. years? Hands on my heart, what I is? don't want him to have his ear pierced. Now. Why? I don't. Why? Because I don't think it looks right for a 12-year-old boy to have his ear pierced. I don't think we'll be able to persuade my dad this time around, because he just wouldn't have it. I really don't get it. I don't understand that why. Tara's really good at sort of things out because she's done it with Jane and she's just amazing at that kind of thing. A week's okay, but any more than a week, I'd, I'd definitely be tied up in a padded cell headbutting the walls for nine hours a day. 
But Tara's on a mission to free the kids and decides to let them take control of their timetable. So about these classes then tonight? I don't want to go. I don't want to go speak in drama. No, neither do I. Why? Because it's boring. <laughs> Is it? You don't yeah. want to go? No. So if we don't do the class? All right then. Yeah. Is that yeah. good to be happy with you girls then? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. I've won in the fact that I've brought them all together. And that's what I, you know, I'm, I've been doing since I've got here and it's working. Will Sam have as much luck trying to take charge of Alan? I've changed it from the jive-in one to the salsa one because I thought, because <laughs> I thought you would prefer it. You live little ass on the prairie, right? <laughs> you, you are full on the rear. I'm surprised you ain't taught my kids to sing the sound of fucking music, right? But yeah. I am not. Or never go out fucking doing those salsa dancing. Oh, minutes. Oh, oh yeah. women. Some, sometimes I'm a bit bossy around. Some um, sometimes she's like trying to control dad. Mutiny. <laughs> Sam cannot enforce his role. I think he thinks I'm a very pushy person. That like my husband has the patience of a saint to live with me. Plus. If I was pissed, but I'm not allowed to drink, right, then I might have gone. Oh, Al, please. No, Sam, because you, you, I you're won't. I promise pushing you. this too much. I know. Oh! Excuse me. Okay. I need to get a drink. Whoops. Tara feels she's got the kids on side. All she needs now is Nick. I've got an appointment booked in for myself and for Nick. I'm Tara. I just really, really want you just to, just to come and have literally like a 20 minute massage and just relax. All right then, all right, Nick. Look, you know, we can't do anything, can we? That's how it is, so you've gone against my rule. You're in trouble. You know that, don't you? But he's not the only mutineer. I wouldn't like to keep relaxing. If you just relax and worry about nothing, you won't. Maybe you'll split. forget. Maybe you'll forget how to walk, how to drive, how to take care of everything, and you'll get too lazy. You won't be able to get up, and you could actually die. I'm not saying what the, what the children do is 100% right, but while they want to carry on doing those activities and, and running from pillar to post, we'll keep doing it. And you don't get anything in life just by sitting back, waiting for it to happen. You've got to go out there and get it. So if you've spent your childhood lolloping around, you're not all of a sudden, when you're 18, going to think, oh, I'm going to get up and go now. No. If you just relax all the time, then things will skip your mind and it won't get anything done. And you just won't be able to do anything, really. I mean, might become a bit chubby. Tony totally missing out on this. Paperwork or this? Mm, I know which one I've chose. After a cocktail of Dutch courage and premium Sam nagging, Alan caves in. I think like a bloke's doing it. I wonder what that is. It doesn't give a shit. But, I mean, do you see one bloke like me here? Why would you bother? And salsa-related stress makes Alan turn to the demon weed. I won the battle purely because I got to drink and smoke for the night, yeah? And I didn't dance. Job's good. Oh yes. Alan's broken the rule on drinking tonight, um, so which is why I want to get inside quite quickly to see if he's carried on drinking. You said you said I want one drink before I go out the door. Yeah, but did you get that in mind? What? Cider with it. It's two lots of alcohol. Well, you don't think that was all neat brandy the last one, do you? I'll be mm. on me back. Cheers. Cheers, babes. Do you want a drink? I had a damn as for a lime Maria. A little bit of Mary Poppins in it, but tonight she was more Maggie Thatcher. 
She would not let go, would she? They see their life, they see their role, um, and, and they like doing what they like doing. They like drinking, they like smoking, they like socialising. And that's, I think, at the end of it all, that's what they think their lot is. I want more in my life. I want my children to have more. Um, and if I'm wrong for doing that, I'm wrong. But I'll still think I'm right. <laughs> Control freak. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> it's the end of the swap, and both Tara and Sam are preparing to get back to reality. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want you too sad. Do I? You'll be all right. Oh, God. See you later. Thank you, Ryan. Bye. Have a little hug. <laughs> Give it a little bit of love. What about you? Oh, Abby, I'm gonna miss you. See you later, Mr. Be a good boy. Ah. Hi. How Hi, good? babes. You want right, Yeah. Mwah. Oh, cool. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, Sarah. Hi, uh, nice to meet you and you. Mwah. Um, thank you for sharing your family with me. They're great. Um, the only thing I found was how you two are as role models towards your children. The biggest thing was the smoking with me. Um, that with Ryan's asthma, um, also with Ryan's fears of you two dying. That's one thing we've discussed, isn't it, basically, that we have said that we are stopping. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan had said that, Ryan had said that, and he said, oh, he keeps making dates. And then it goes, and he makes another date, and then it goes, and then... Yeah, but to a kid, a week's a long time. I know, I know, well, I know, I know. Because I was half expecting him to say, no, it's OK. But he didn't. He said, no, it's bad for you and people die. Yeah, he hates it. He absolutely hates it, which is a good thing because he won't do it when he's older. Yeah. And neither of us will be smoking. Yeah. I found, and that was one of my rule changes, that I spent a lot more time with Jade. Mm -hmm. A lot, lot more time. Um, you know, because <clears> she's <throat> kind of scared of talking to you about how she's feeling as a person. Yeah. But I've got four kids that I've got totally to share my great. time out with. But then, do you think if you spent more time with her... Just I couldn't have spent any more time when she was younger with her. But what about at night, when she's up in her bedroom? Why don't you she go don't and be with me. lay in her bed and talk about She stuff? doesn't want to be with me. I think, Sam, hand on my heart, I think you do control the family, definitely. I control the family. I control, control all of them. I control the I don't control him. I don't control him. I control the family because I'm left in charge of the family. At the end of the day, well, we do, at the end of the day, we do, we do a lot of activities. Do? We do a lot of activities, kid. But for us, financially, it would be better if they didn't, and they only done one activity each. What? Right. Okay. Is, so I'm going to get to the point. So can you, on your calendar, actually schedule in there and actually sit down as a family, mm -hmm. discuss. Look, hey, you guys, I think actually. We need to spend more time together mm. in the lounge. I think that, that's chilling probably out. A, a, mm. a true point mm. there of what yeah, and, where and, we do, where we do. Because even if mm. they we want don't to do make certain the things, most of you, you being the a time family. that we have mm. got. One, one thing, Sam, right, and this is in no way as a criticism, right? Yeah. yeah. But you do like to think you're a little bit of a toughie, right? And you ain't no different than me. You're, you're just some Mary Poppins. So, you know, have Mary a little. Mary Poppins? What's have, with Mary Poppins? You're a softie. I'm a softie. I'm a softie. You don't need to be as tough as you think you do. No, I am a softie, but she can relax more. Yeah, that's the one. Chill out. <laughs> chill out. We've heard chill out. Chill we? out. Works on it, doesn't it? Eh? Works out, doesn't it? No. No? Not for me. Mm. See, but then... If I chill out anymore, if your wife stopped me for another week, I'd be laying horizontal on the, <laughs> on the kitchen on floor. Yeah. yeah. No. So you live little house on the prairie and we don't. I love you too, hello. Gorgeous. What, big boy? Yeah. Oh, I love you too, darling. Very relieved. Very happy. <laughs> 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 Five weeks on in Kettering. The 
Willis's are slowly returning to the old regime. We got back to normality. Um, yeah, just got back to living how we live and doing what we do. I've come out of Wipe Swap thinking that we still are doing things right for the kids. We have reassessed things because it made me self-doubt. I did think maybe I should be going out doing a proper nine-to-five job, but the children will suffer. Although they are making sure they spend more time together doing activities as a family when the schedule allows. As you can see, we've gone back. We had a we had a, an odd month where it was a little bit clear. Afterwards, it's got much better. We were all playing with each other a lot more and just having a lot more fun. In Westgate-on-Sea in the Hollick home, Sam's Mary Poppins' legacy is a not-so-distant memory. Well, as far as drinking and smoking is concerned, Sam's rules right here yeah, cutting down. No, the smoking, that's out the window. And as for the drink, bollocks, I'll, I'll have one. Well, you know, we work bloody hard, right, so if I want a glass of wine when I come in, I'll have one. <laughs> We're still totally laid back, fun, hopefully still chilled, um, liberal parents, and that's the way we're going to stay. But the swap has led to one big lifestyle change. Tara's decided to open up her own beauty salon, with Alan right by her side. Since my swap, um, it's just totally sort of changed our outlook, really, hasn't it? It's, I've grown so much confidence. So we've took the plunge and, um, yeah, this beauty salon is, is ours. And yeah. I can't wait to start working in it. It's just our dream. How do I look? It sure did come back a little bit more gobby. Yeah, gobby. <laughs> well, I don't mind that. We have learnt that we'll never be apart again. I think we've been texting each other every hour rather than every other hour <laughs> since.
dicen los... Es 